What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I'm going to talk about an issue with uh, Nintendo that may be a little disturbing for some people. Now, I'm going to talk about this fact that a lot of people are actually a little upset with Mario Odyssey because Mario kind of possesses the other characters. And if you're a Christian like myself, possession is a very big word. It's kind of spooky, kind of creepy. And yes, it is true, but, you know, Jesus kind of defeated all that, you know what I'm saying? You're only going to be able to fight that with Jesus. But at the same time, Mario is able to do that in certain parts of the game. So it does look like Nintendo would like you to know that Mario doesn't possess things in Super Mario Odyssey. He just captures them by taking over their bodies and making them do things they don't want to do. And that's a big difference. Right? So over this past E3, people saw the Super Mario Odyssey trailers, and it got a lot of people going, but when people started to look a little bit deeper, they started seeing things that they didn't actually like. They saw that Mario was basically snatching people up, taking over their bodies, and people were like, so Mario's possessing other people. So then, of course, you had this one person, Sam Logan, who was an artist behind Santa Fuzzy, and he came out there and he did a little illustration that basically says, uh, Kirby has uh, eaten Mario, and he gains his powers, and then it says, Kirby has been possessed by Mario. Know the difference. See, yeah. Has a mustache so it it, it it makes it different and then that kind of went viral and then nintendo had to make a statement about this and nintendo came out there and said it's um actually he's been captured by mario see he's not possessing things yeah he is but it's Mario, and he can get away with it. But at the same time, it's really kind of hard to, to pretend like he doesn't take things over because he does. So you are seeing you know, a massive amount of gifts and people just making fun of the whole entire Mario hat thing, saying when you get the hat, all of a sudden you get possessed. This is a little bit creepy, so it has turned into a thing, and I figured everybody should know. As for me, I got Jesus, so I got the power to fight, so... Glory to God. So if you do want to kind of use Mario to possess things in a kind of creepy way, Nintendo Switch will actually be back in stock at GameStops all across America, not just at certain ones. This is going to be across the whole entire nation. So Game GameStop has announced that it will be getting Switch back in stock all throughout the United States. Uh, the systems will be limited, but you cannot reserve them. It will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. So basically call them and check in on them and see if you can actually get it. Don't go down there and waste your time acting like you're just going to show up and be like, hey, you guys got a Nintendo Switch. They probably won't have one in stock at the time. So if you can call them and then be there as soon as they open, you might have a chance at actually getting some. Uh, a lot of GameStops will actually tell you, like, hey, we got a shipment coming in tomorrow be here at 10 o'clock when we open so just going to give you guys a little hint on that uh moving on from that news and this is actually kind of disturbing when it comes to microsoft now i did talk about before that microsoft did kind of have a checkerboard rendering type situation going on with their games uh now it kind of comes to the whole entire light that is in fact checkerboard rendering and microsoft may not 100 percent be as 4k as you would assume so Microsoft classifies the checkerboard rendering and dynamic resolution scaling as true 4K resolution. I wasn't lying. I, I, I wasn't lying. So yes, uh, this happened at a official Xbox blog where they actually did come out there and they talked about it in the frequently asked questions about the true 4K resolution. And in that page, they actually explained that the resolution may consist of native 4K resolution checkerboarding slash sparse rendering resolution or dynamic resolution scaling. Basically the exact same thing that the PS4 Pro does. Not saying that they're the same because the uh, Xbox Scorpio or the Xbox One X is way more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro. But when you're using things like checkup board rendering and stuff like that to achieve this 4K, you know that Phil Spencer said it's not true 4K, well their true 4K consists of the exact same thing that the PlayStation 4 Pro has. And that's kind of a double standard there, Microsoft. Phil McCracken, you might wanna fix this because you're, you're looking like, like you're lying to us and, and Phil wouldn't do that. Phil wouldn't lie to us. I mean, he's a corporate executive, but he would not lie to us because because it's Phil and, and everybody likes Phil. 
Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Oh, yeah, I want to tell you guys about something. Uh, those who have not seen my previous video who have uh, supported me on Patreon, I did update the settings on it. So if you go and you go to my Patreon, you're going to actually see where the I'll actually put your game on my YouTube channel. How to get in contact with me because I have no way to get in contact with you. So go look at my Patreon page. For those who have supported me, I will be supporting you by putting your videos on my uh, channel so that other people can actually see it. Again, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll holla at y'all later.